Today we use a lot of nebulization and we have different uh, medicines to use. Uh, I know you like to use Zolpinex uh, and, uh, because of some reasons. What is the reason why you use Zolpinex when a kid is wheezing? Is there any advantage over using the old albuterol sol solutions? Children who have asthma get repeated episodes of wheezing. There are two types of medications that we use to treat asthma medications to prevent the wheezing and medications to treat the wheezing once it occurs. There are two common medications that we use at this point for treating the active wheezing. One of those medications is albuterol, which has been around for more than 20 years now. The other medication is more new and it's called Zopinex. This comes in both a nebulizer form as well as in a meter dose inhaler, a pump. The advantage of Zopinex is that it's the single isomer, so-called the more purified form of the albuterol molecule. Being the single isomer, it has all the advantages of relieving the wheezing very rapidly, having a relatively long duration of action, while minimizing the risk of a number of common side effects in patients who would previously be getting these problems when being given albuterol. Some of the common side effects we hear about is sometimes the kids they have shaking of the hands. Some of the common side effects from albuterol included tremors, shaking of the hands, hyperactivity, difficulty sleep, a racing heart rate, and nervousness. These side effects certainly could make taking the medication properly difficult and therefore some patients don't take the medicine in a proper fashion and others merely suffer through the side effects. Zopinex in its present form can alleviate some if not many of these side effects depending on the dose and the frequency of dosing. Also since the, the medication Zopinex lasts longer we actually need to give less doses of the medication thereby sparing the need for the child to take repeated doses as frequently as he previously had been given with the albuterol. I mean, Zopex is relatively expensive but effective, but keeping a kid out of a hospital or an emergency room, which is very, very expensive, so there is justification for the extra cost. Zopinex is a bit more expensive than the albuterol, but when you factor in the number of doses that you're giving and the fact that you're saving the child from that emergency visit, and even from a hospitalization, the cost can certainly balance out. Because with the albuterol uh, given, you have to give it four times a day, which means you probably have to give it in school, and the school nurse gets involved in a standard treatment, where Zolpin actually give it before school, coming home from school and at bedtime, makes life a little bit easier for us, the patient, and the school nurse having that extra burden. Is that true? Absolutely. And in fact, when you really look at the data, Albuterol to work most effectively really should be given roughly every three to four hours. Beyond that, it starts to lose some of its effectiveness, whereas the effectiveness of Zopinex does last a good eight hours and helps the children get through that school day more effectively.